The challenge begins. What's up, guys? Welcome to the ASL Another Day. An excellent brood war. I'm Tase is joined with me as our Tosis, and we're going to get these four player interviews translated for you guys before we start our matches. That's exactly what we're doing. Hello. 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 잘 지냈어요. 근데 왜 네. 말을 저러고 있어요? Very excited today. Today, today, how have you been? 처음부터 네? 웃어가지고. 말이 너무 놀랬는데 지금 아직도 괜찮아. 네. Why are you laughing at me? 아니 야단을 치세요. 돈 주지 마 이거, 서현지. 아, 어, 서현 말이 이거를 비. 네, 네, 네. 빨리 말해. 잘 지냈어요. 연습 왔잖아요, 제가. Say something. 잘 지냈죠. 아기 키우면서. How have you been? 지금 oh, 제가 이제 well. 한번 공격을 받았기 때문에 네. 그 공격을 할 차례예요. 네. 아시죠? 네. ASL 지금 어, 어, 거의 방탈러가 되셨어요. 어떻게 된 거예요? 네. You, almost, you grabbed a championship uh, trophy, but after that you were eliminated pretty early uh, in previous ASLs. 그건 아닌 같은데요. <웃음> <웃음> 지금 가을이거든요? 그럼 yeah. 이번에 yeah, 잘할 수 있는 well 거예요? 제가 네. 요새 또 그런 생각을 했어요. Oh, it's already in autumn. So now it's autumn again. 이번 우승하고 나서 Are you ready to play the games? 다음 달에 볼게요. 이렇게 딱 멋있게. So this is my scenario. This season, I'm going to win the championship. And then uh, next time, I'll say, see you guys next year, same time around. Oh, this poor nerd is a kid out of group. Come on. Actually, I've got a bad feeling I'm going to get eliminated tonight, to be honest. I'm lacking in confidence. I mean, look at all these other players in the group. All these guys are super strong. I mean, they practice really hard. Oh, why are you laughing? I've been taking a long break. Hold on, your first opponent's fire back here. Why do you keep laughing? Honestly, I've got a comfortable mindset against Firebat here. But all other players, all other players are playing good soon. Say that actually he's in good condition right now. I secretly watched some of his games as well. He's looking pretty strong. Uh, you know, he had uh, not played for a while, so I thought uh, maybe he'd be rushed there, but he's looking just as good as he was in his older uh, form. Yeah. 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 뭐 긴장 긴장한다 해도 마음 속한 구석에는 He's trying to set a mood like I, I might drop my guard. He's saying that I'm nervous. I think my opponent's in good shape. But I know it's true mindset. He's got a mindset. He's gonna win. He's gonna, he thinks he's gonna beat me easily, to be honest. So I'm gonna break his mindset by showing him how I'm solid right now. 잘하는데 어 What kind of player do you see shuttle as? Look, I think he's a good player, but today he's not gonna look good. 우리 이성훈 선수가 또 아재리그에서 우승, 준우승 출신이에요. 아 그럼요. 네 날라다니는데 여기는 ASL이에요. 네. 네. You pulled off great performances in the older Brit War days. Tell us about that. Yeah. Championship became was a runner-up as well in the Brit War League. This is ASL. 점중이 우승자니까. I've got goals. 우승자를 잡아서. I'm looking to take down the ASL champion today. That's one of my agenda. 오늘 또 이성은 선수 하면은 굉장히 많은 분들이 세레머니를 지금 준비하고 계실 텐데. And that might be my big moment here today. And that's how I intend to graduate. 오늘 볼수 있는 건가요? 기대도 되나요? 일단 오늘은 A lot of people are expecting crazy ceremonies. 결과가 어떻게 될지 모르겠어요. 이승을 할 수도 있고 이패를 할 수도 있고 뭐 일승이나 아니면은 뭐 등등 있잖아요. 근데 한 경기 한 경기가 지금 다 소중해가지고 원래는 일승을 하고 세레머니 하려고 했는데. 오늘은 1승만 해도 무조건 세레머니 하겠습니다. 네. 아주 기대가 됩니다. 1승 꼭 해야겠네요. 하겠습니다. 하지만 그래도 이 선수만 만나고 싶지 않다는 선수가 있으면 누가 있을까요? 아, 네. 오늘은 만나기 네. 싫은 선수 없어요. 아 아무나 만나도 상관없습니다. 다 만나고 싶습니다. 아, 네. 모두를 위한 특별 빌드를 하나씩 다 들고 왔거든요. 아, 네. 조일장 선수를 만나고 싶지 않으신가요? 아, 그럼요. 네. 지금 조일장 선수에게 여쭤볼게요. What about you, Hero? Are you confident? Face off against Fireman Hero? Yeah, sure, I'm confident. 제가 그렇게 지금 소문을 들었거든요. 네. 네, 맞나요? 사실인가요? So, Hero. 제가 
못했어요. 하고 싶었는데 네. 못한건 사실 안한거 아니야? <웃음> 못했어요. <웃음> 네, 이제 이상한 이상한 선수 만나 <웃음> <Sorry, 그러면> <웃음> 어때? He hasn't played any games against Terran so far. He can't understand where to put his like man. He can't figure it out. <laughs> yeah, I have not played any Terran. So the scenario for me is ideally to take out Protoss is to move on. Look at that leg. It's like you're rubbing a dog's belly right now. Any particular players that you feel you have to defeat. <laughs> I've lost a lot of confidence. <laughs> but I would like to look forward to playing against Shuttle. I guess I could put off some good games against Shuttle. What about Snell? He's another Protoss here. Looks so great. Player. But somehow. Whenever I have a match against Snow, a lot of times I take it down. What about you, Snow? Hero just said, He's been beating you a lot. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, that's accurate. I've lost a lot of games against him, but that's the past. That's old news. So tonight I'll be in. 그러면은 오늘 도 어떻게 마음에 드시나요 전체적으로? 진짜 불만이에요. 아, 아니 도가. 네. 왜요? No, 왜요? I'm not thrilled to be here. 아, 자신은 I actually have a lot of problems with this group, to be honest. But you just said you're confident. Yeah, well, I have confidence, but. 네. 저는 이런 거좀 싫어해요. But in this group, one single mistake might cost me uh, advance to the uh, round of 16. 오, 선수들이 다 너무 빡세다. 네. 그래도 만나고 싶은 선수가 있다면 누가 있을까요? Any particular player that you feel threatened by? Yeah, Kim Hyun Jung is how did he get into the Dongdae team? Actually, I would like to be Shuttle. Let's just say that. Yeah, that's good. What's going on with you, Shuttle? Everybody's picking on you. Before we start the game, anything you want to say? Oh, that's good. I'm going to make fun games tonight. Help me. My leg is holding me hostage. I'm going to work hard to advance. <laughs> I will do my best. Today, what did he say? I'll make a big shot. Big shot. Tosis, it's time to start our games. I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be a really fun group. This is one of the better groups, really, overall. A little bit hard to predict exactly who will come out and all. Uh, definitely, you gotta lean towards hero a bit, but Snow's in great shape. Should we just lean back? Do we want to lean in when we're on camera? No. Or do we want to lean back and lean back? I think instead of sitting up, let's keep and chill our toes. Yeah. It's gonna be a great day. I need to learn PVZ. By the way, my hand is getting better. It's still a little bit stiff, but it's improving. That's okay. And that means I still got more time to just study games and learn. Yeah, well, we're going to start you on Tooth and Tail, and then we're going to move you up to Brood War. Tooth and Tail is the game. So, we're keeping it casual today. Oh, my knee's showing. Isn't this racy? This is funny, because two of the players did. have shorts and two of them have jeans. So, me, Firebat Hero, and Snow are the professional ones. Then you, Mr. Right Leg, and Shuttle yeah. are the uh Mr. Right the Leg. Ones. What was going on with his leg Dude, back it was there? like a Rick and Actually, Morty episode. It's like not even his leg. It's like trying to get him into <laughs> battle. You know the thing um, about those stools that they were sitting in in those interviews is that they suck. They are, those, those are terrible stools. On multiple different shows. It's like the TV show stool. Every Watch for stools like next time show. you're watching TV. Um, look for stools where people are sitting in. It's always those uncomfortable ass Chairs. They just like look good. The cut off circulation in your thighs. It's like a Jetsons chair yeah. at the table. They're like, in they're the like, future, everybody's going to sit in this. Yeah, and then, no, they suck. Yeah, they're horrible. By the way, you lean forward. You're a coward. You can't, oh, do I look better you can't even do back? what you say. Damn, show my body off. Mm. <laughs> well, we're dressed in black, so we look dressed good no in matter black. what. I'm like, I have a six pack. I don't, but they don't know that because <laughs> I'm in black. He has a six pack that was emptied outfits. into a bag. Um, I'm liking our outfits. Yeah, no, they look wait, very wait, good. We wanted some new, a new get up, and we got it. Mr. By Gray. the way, tell your friends to join us here. We are only on uh, Africa TV, but we do not want you guys to miss out on Brood War. And look, since this is not, um, we're not getting as many viewers on this cast as we would on Twitch. If you're watching, you can get a leg up on your opponents on the ladder. That is true. This is like a secret stream. The best dude. strats are here, except this for is yesterday. A secret stream, yeah, except for yesterday. 
Um, get your build order notebooks out. Take yeah. some notes, and suddenly you're going to start beating everybody. Yeah. A lot of people always logged on to StarCraft, but a lot of them are missing what we're doing here. That's that's very, very true. Only four games being played, though. It's really funny. Like, almost every time I log on, it's like, there's 50,000 people logged on in four games of Brood War. <laughs> it's like... That can't be right. <laughs> there's eight people in a game, so, like, that's a lot of people just sitting there. Yeah. But, uh... Dude, uh, today today's pretty fun. Uh, I hope Firebat Hero wins at least one game. Yeah. So that we can see one of his famous ceremonies. That would be really cool. By the way, guys, tomorrow we're starting the ASL a little bit earlier. It's going to be starting at 5 p.m. Yes, and that's because we have group selection afterwards, which Seeker will be taken care of. And, of course, tomorrow's a day you cannot miss. Jadong is playing the greatest Zerg of all time. It, it's just going to be a blast. It's The studio is going to be completely packed tomorrow, no question. So if you are... Thinking about coming down? Come early. So mark this down, guys. If you're watching right now, it's two hours earlier than it is basically right now. So yes. don't miss out. <coughs> so Because usually a Brood War day is about two hours for us. Yeah. So uh, you would otherwise, if you showed up at the wrong time, you would have completely missed out on everything. Oh, yeah, that would suck. You wouldn't have seen all of J-Dang's games. J-Dang. What about J-Dang? J-Dang, pretty good. What about J-Dang versus Fresh? It's not about J-Dang. It's about Larva. <laughs> I was in years that grows up! Look at I was Brood War! It for seven years, what's that up to his own? I was a missile! <laughs> <laughs> look at this, it kind of looks like a boat. It does look a little bit like or a boat. Or maybe it's like a fish coming out of water. Yeah, it's a fish with its mouth open. No, you know what it looks like? It actually looks like I'm playing Battle Zone on the Atari, is what it looks like. And that's a mountain, and oh, I can't good. tell if it's close to me or far away. Wow, Shuttle, look at that. He went all the way to the top. Remember casting that last year? He was really good yeah. throughout that whole tournament. He, he looked awesome. Well, yeah. Remember when he? I think the the first day we casted Brood War, we were casting him beating Effort Effort Five Pool. Remember that? Oh yeah, that was fun. Well, this is going to be um, a delightful day. Uh, it's actually a little bit tougher to figure out who's going to get out because if Firebat Hero is in good form, there's nothing really holding him back. I, I saw a good amount of his games. He had to go to all three qualifiers to make it in. Uh, he, he won't gut in at the very, very end there uh, to ASL. So, I mean, it's still obviously in great shape to, to be here, but he's been a commentator more recently. Uh, you know, he was he was such a famous player and a beloved player you know, who actually got a very high skill level, yeah, but he was really good. known for his ceremonies, but, like, he got very good. Oh, yeah. By the way, Snow, um, if you don't follow Brood War intensely, you might not be familiar with him, but he's actually really good. I, I think he should get out of his group. Yeah. Snow's in fantastic shape at the moment. One of the top players in the ladder and oh, everything. Oh, Artosis. The ecstasy's working. Oh, my gosh. This music that Shuttle's picked. Oh, my goodness. I feel it. Do you feel Ooh. it? I am love. You are love. <laughs> we are all just love. We're just skin rocks moving through space. <laughs> We're skin rocks? Yeah, man. That's all we are. Oh, We're here man. now. You're right. We are skin rocks. We're just a couple of what skin rocks. What are we rocks. but stardust with skin over it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Skin rocks made out of stardust moving through time and space, Artosis. So now we know Shuttle's Brood War music. Yeah. But now, how is it going to be countered here by his opponent? Because we let each player pick the music in case well, you Well, Firebat Hero, about. I mean, this guy seriously has so much personality that he became a commentator. That's right. Let's see. Oh, sick. Bon Jovi song. Interesting, interesting counter pick here with the Bon Jovi. But it's his life, Artosis, and it's now or never. Oh, my God. The one song, Tasteless Sings now, a Karaoke. Secretly, I, I predict that you brought us this. <laughs> I know, it's the only Bon Jovi song I know. Um, now, secretly, well, I guess it's not going to be a secret anymore. I'm rooting he's for Firebat Hero. He's not going to live forever. No, no, I'm, I want Firebat Hero to move on because he's a commentator, and this gives me hope. Yes. And this should give you for hope, For the next too. ASL season. We'll do it, Tasteless. For all, I don't even know how many Brood War commentators are there in the world. There's probably, like, you know, 50 of us. People that have ever commentated Brood War. Yep, 50, 100. He gives people like us hope. Yes. Well, retired pros turned commentators, and this time turned pro again. It is it is exciting, and I hope he does well, to be honest. I mean, the thing is, when he does well, it's really great. Uh, Larva was really fun to watch, but this guy is the all-time legend of, of, you know, ceremonies. Imagine if it was Firebat Hero versus Larva later on. Oh! That could be. The battle of the Imagine if they're in the same group. Every every other pro would be tripping over themselves to get in that group, I tell oh, you. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, my God, it's the Jokers. Give me that group. 
Uh, okay, so we're going to start this off with the PDT on Gold Rush, aka Skull Desert. Skull Desert, great skull first Skull Desert. Map. Watch out for the screaming skull in the middle of the map. In the internet, ASL Season 4. Gotta make You gotta be careful. If this skull hits you, you can't use your sword anymore. That's true. <laughs> uh, in the bottom right, we've got shuttle, and in the 12 o'clock position here in the north, we've got firebat hero. Yeah, it, shuttle did a beautiful clone. I'm gonna start talking about the clones every time I see them. <laughs> it's, yeah, the splits. Yeah, splitting your probes or SCVs. By the way, there there is a whole art to, to uh, splitting your workers. It's actually something. You know, there's a lot of things that are worth just practicing over and over against a computer, like that just restarting the game. That's one of them. This is how Taste shames me. You've seen my splits recently. They are not up to form. Yeah, I've seen your splits. <laughs> right now, I'm like, I always got two mining, and then i got to grab one to send you another patch, but it's the one that was already mining. I'm like, no, everything's wrong. <laughs> I'm sure when I get to start playing, when my hand's fully recovered, I will uh, be horrible. Yeah. So. Uh -oh, I can't wait. It's a battle cruiser, but it, is it crashing? No, it's going really fast. Oh, okay. Because it's not actually flying down, it's just the drawing, right? Well, in space there is no down, tasteless. You dumb skin rock. He's <laughs> moving through space and time. <laughs> That's right, we're just skin rocks made out of stardust. Yeah. Wow, he's got all the autographs on his shirt. Do not wash that. For what? What is, what is that shirt? What is this? Alright. Oh! Anyways, a lot of signs out there uh, do say Firebat Hero's name, so... Definitely people very excited to have this guy in a tournament right now. So Firebat Hero's gonna go for a quick expander, Tosis. Kind of the, the, yeah. the contemporary TBT, or TBP rather, uh, opening here. Well, it's, um, it's such a strong economic build. Uh, people are very good at it at this point as well. A lot of people <laughs> filled up the studio here today. Hmm. One says old man fighting. Kind of. Lodge Shiva. That's what it means, kind of. Uh, so, tassels. What's up, Artie? Not too much, you know. Artosis Ar 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 came by my apartment not long ago. I moved just recently. Yeah. We're calling it Tasselvania, or the Tassel Castle. It's a Tassel Castle. Tassel Castle. Well, actually, I used to call my old apartment Tasselvania. The new apartment is Tasselvania 2. Yeah. <laughs> um, i got to come down and see you sometime coming up here, Artosis. Yeah, hang out. Yeah. You've, had well, a bunch, you've had a bunch of work. And we have had a lot of busy. work. Also, I'm, I'm very much a shut-in at the moment. Three babies. And apparently I'm supposed to be and playing... three RTS uh, games. What is it? Tooth and Tail? Tooth and Tail, yeah. Tooth and Tail. I'm going to give it a shot. Yeah. Fun game. Anyone out there that uh, wants to try an RTS game. Okay, so Orange. SCVs are pulled because there is a Zealot rallied up on the way. That's right. Um, now, you always put the bunker in the front. You might be wondering, why would you not put it in the back there? But He actually scattered with the Zealots. Yeah. So this, this is, is very lucky. This is something that's become much more commonplace, um, although I'm still kind of not used to it myself. Um, but basically, the Zealots are going to get there around the same time. Now, the problem for the Terran is that even with the bunker here, and of course the bunker will beat the two Zealots, the Zealots can still run by, which is a, a real they, threat. They can, but there's like enough Marines that they would take a ton of damage running by, and then it gets kind of easy to micro against them. Uh, so, like kind of the only area where it's iffy to micro against them would be up the ramp, but he can bring SCVs over his spot. So, it's like... As far as the builds go, I really like where Firebat Hero's at because the Zealot was sent in the wrong direction first. Okay, well, he's just going for it. Here That's are those two move. Zealots doing That's the run move. by with the Dragoon tanking most of that damage, and this is really bad uh, for the Terran uh, because, remember, he's going to get his factory much later. So you right-click one Zealot on a Marine, and the other one starts to fight the workers. When the workers really bunch up, you run. The two Marines pulled out of that bunker right now, and some... Pretty good SCV micro so far. As long as he doesn't lose too many, he's still going to be in a decent shape here. So he's lost three SCVs, I believe. 
I think uh, four now. Has he lost four? He got three on the gas, and there was one in the mineral patch. And now the Dragoons, I think range should be finishing momentarily here. Yeah. And this is a rush engineered to cripple a Terran that's going to expand pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, has, I, I has, like it, it. has it actually crippled him, though? Like, I, in my opinion, this is not that bad for Firebat Hero because you had to spend a lot of money getting all these units out early, and he's had the second command center for an extremely long time. That's a little bit sloppy. I, you know, I almost feel like we'd have to look at the replay to really dig this apart because it's also the second phase of the rush with the Dragoons coming up here. So he, he lost, like, two, three Marines. He lost three to four SCVs and some mining time. Well, it's, guess, like, still okay, I think. Well, it was a factory done. Okay, the factory's okay. not done, so there's this other factor here. you got to keep in mind is that this is such an interruption. I guess if you could delay the uh, SCV making the factory as well, that would be good. But let's see how this uh, pairs up later on. You know, it's funny, with uh, harassing Terrans with Protoss, even when Terran holds, if you can get them off-tempo enough, it's kind of crazy how much of a lead you can take as Protoss. That's why you see these good Protosses. They're always able to get the Terran's face and try to slow them down somehow. Because I know later on it's going to be a big threat. Anything they can do to make getting into the late game harder for the Terran is probably worthwhile. Yeah, you you got to mess them up somehow. Uh, the late game is a good place for Terran. Like, if you hit a sharp timing, it's fantastic. Is that it? Okay, it's a starboard. Uh, again, kind of a funny place to put that, by the way. Yeah, super close to the edge. Looks like he wants to just get those dropships out immediately. Um, but... It, you know that that's pretty popular on this map at the moment as well. I it's love so the I love the Reaper, by the way. Yeah, you were saying you kind of wanted to see speed shuttles on this map. I think ah! I, I, I actually think I'm wrong now about speed shuttles. I don't know if there's good. You don't on like this a map. map. Yeah, I, it, I thought initially it was going to be more of an islandy map, but it seems like it doesn't work out quite that yeah, way. It does, really, it doesn't play that way too well. I think it's more about the uh, travel distance to get back into bases. Why the dropship play has turned out to be very strong. For yeah, parents. I think you're right. You are right, it doesn't it, it hasn't felt as islandy as Outsider. Outsider feels very islandy. Islandish even. <laughs> um, so the uh, scouting SCD is gonna see That's that there's Reaver Tech, which is really important, man. Dude, now you make a Wraith and you are just golden. You're in it's such good shape with the Wraith here. Now, I'm not sure how much money was actually lost in return, but I would say that was a lot. Those SCVs were hitting that bunker for a long, 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 long time. Um, so I like that rush there from, from Shuttle. Unfortunately, I, I think the Reaver follow-up is the real uh, real blow that can be dealt to Terran. You know, you spend so much time um, taking damage, you probably want to play catch-up, and then a Reaver can come in here and blindside you. But knowing about the Reaver is, you know, half of the uh, way to manage it to begin with. And the fact that he already went Starport, like to scout this Reaver right now, you don't need detection. You can make a Wraith. Right. Those two things together are, like, just magnificently strong. Look at this, he's laying down mines where the Reaver might drop. Like, th it, this is pretty easy to micro overall. The most that can be in this shuttle is like a Dragoon and a Reaver. So, overall, after these openings, I am liking where Firebat Hero is at personally. Like, he, the thing is, if Shuttle can get in here and do something with this, then of course that's a different world, but scouting the Reaver really sent it you over can, the edge for me. You can moving shot a shuttle, right? Uh, with yeah, a yeah, yeah. Just kill it, right? Oh, so absolutely. If the finds it, it's, it's gone, dead. right? It's dead. Yeah, so... Oh, look at this. He doesn't even have a Dragoon in there to slow anything down. So all you do, you take care of this very calmly. Uh, okay, yep, perfect no, micro no, right there. Notice the micro. If you yep. move the tank away from the Reaver shot, it doesn't do full damage. Uh, it, he smashed this. Like, he really... Look at that army placement, armory placement. That's really kind of interesting. Um, oh, he even puts in the gas to dodge shot. Beautiful. But... Look, and, and here we are. Yes, Shuttle is ahead on supply right now, but he's just now taking his third base. We have a ton of tech for Firebat Hero. Hasn't had to do things like buy early turrets or anything. He's got production going. He's got harassment uh, possibilities open to him. Really, truly liking where he's at. Okay. Um, we have the third base coming down here, and i got to say, Artosis, you're basically correct. The... Um I don't think Protoss' growth rate has been as good for the amount he invested in the harass, especially with the bungled Reaver drop. Now we see a drop coming in here, which I think is going to be handled very easily. Uh, four is usually the ideal number of Dragoons to hold off a dropship, because it takes eight shots to kill a dropship. Same with a tank. So that's the uh, magic number for you guys trying to learn uh, PVT here. Uh, if you're ever running into a big fight, grab four Dragoons, right-click them on a, a tank. Uh, and they then have the rest of them fight, you know, or have another four attack another tank. Same with the dropship, though. 
Well, uh... Okay, so... Just getting another dropship at this moment, and... This I'm surprised about. The multiple dropship play? Yeah. Um, well, well, especially if he puts a starport at the edge where the Observer can watch it. I mean, then you should be able to just stop this. Yeah. You... Generally speaking, the starport's actually one of the buildings you want to put far away, because if Protoss can see whether or not you're making dropships, that makes everything a lot easier for them. It okay. certainly does. Do not disagree always, with that. Always hide your starports, Terrence. <laughs> Uh, those two dropships coming around. Looks like he wants to hit this third base, but speed is done on that shuttle. Looks like shuttle does want to play like you were talking about uh, previously, even though uh, you've retracted said statements, Tasteless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've retracted said statements. Yes. <laughs> um, now, even bringing the shuttle over here. Now, you know, ideally, whenever you have this happen, guys, try to go for the dropship first. If you know you're going to win the fight, yeah. go for the dropships because... Um, Ooh, he's chasing the Dragoons, man. He wants it. Oh, that dropship's dead. Oh, my dead. God, this is so sick. You're a sick player. <laughs> wow. Really good move. Um, very ambitious play there by uh, by Shuttle. Now, um, Shuttle is starting to get big enough. I think if he gets a fourth base and has more gateways up, it's still going to be hard for Firebat here to push out on this map. Uh, even though shuttles basically stayed back, which was the right play, by the way, because there were dropships coming. Yeah, if yeah. you see dropships out, then you don't well, you don't really try to contain them because that's how you end up losing. Well, someone who goes dropships as well, you got to take into consideration that uh, they are going to be much slower on macro. Right. And that's not just because they're losing some units, doing some harassment, but each dropship is 100 gas. And by getting these early, Could they're actually foregoing factories a lot of the time. So, oh, double speed shuttle here. Well, I think this is a good way to play. If Terran tries to turtle this out, um, you can always like try to take out other bases. Not to mention, you know, two speed shuttles, if they're full of zealots. If they don't have anti-air man, I mean, that's almost better than having the zealot speed itself. Yeah, you yeah. just dump them on there. Yeah, and uh, it's not like you want to make some glides right now. That's for sure. No, not after going starboard. No. In fact, I think this may be the moment that uh, shuttle comes in here for the Hulk smash. Especially with the uh, vultures going around yeah, here. Yeah, dude. This is when you're like, oh my, oh my. He actually... Oh, oh that reaver, reaver drop. Beautifully done with the reaver here. Yeah, Lots he of damage coming out. Okay, looks like, though, he was targeted down. You know, unfortunately, he didn't drop on the tanks when the Dragoons got there. He dropped first and the Dragoons came later. Yeah. You're and right. You would think it would not make as much of a big difference, but really, it's huge. Maybe with the turrets finishing up, or the fact that it was speed shuttle compared to regular shuttle, yeah, uh, that could have thrown him well, off. You know, this is one of the hard things about Brood Wars. Sometimes you just get in a situation, and you know it's not the perfect. Like, I, I hate it when people get too critical of Brood War pros. Like, well, that's not the best way to do it. Uh, and they're damning them. They're condemning them for it. Because yeah. anybody who's played this game enough knows that, okay, really, it, it, sometimes you just get in a situation, you have to try to make it work. Yeah, um, and yeah. that was that moment, but uh, it would have been better had he actually um, played it a little bit differently. Now, I oh, love this side storm drop. Oh, my God. That was insane. That was crazy. That was so many SCVs. He should just pick up everything. Dude, these speed shuttles are doing some work, man. Even though that the attack into the tanks didn't work, a great man. job hurting that economy Speed along. shuttles are fantastic units. Uh, it, you know, and you can really get to a lot of positions that Terran might not be that comfortable with dealing with, even even if they're very experienced, because you just end up engaging the Terran in a way that they're not used to. A speed shuttle coming in here once again, trying to hold on to this base as best he can. Dropping some of these Zealots, dragging the mines. Oh Good my god. god! Are you oh, kidding no me? no way it lives! Are you really Over kidding me? Over the tar pit it goes! He's gonna go chase it down with that shuttle. But the dropship's just going to stay. The dropships have learned. Now, can, can I point out that the Skull on Skull Island now has a bloody nose? Oh, my God. Two and, bloody nostrils. And a charbuncle on his face. Oh, no. <laughs> this poor guy. What's going on? Yeah. The skull on uh He's got a tick on his desert. head, too. Yeah. Oh, now it's bleeding. Oh, his head's Ew. bleeding now. Oh. God. Oh, my God. Nope. Does not get away. Unfortunately. Now, uh... Even though that drop was held off, a lot of the attention in the center of the map for Protoss has been given up. But Protoss is actually, with this difference in supply, sometimes Protoss can come in and raffle stomp the Terran. Sometimes. If you set up your mines just right, you have some good turrets, your tanks are, are sitting in, in well-spaced, sieged positions where they aren't too far from each other. Yeah. Uh, then sometimes you can just kind of hold on because let's not forget this is mass gateway units. He has some good tech in there, like speed shuttles and Psystorm. 
but this is just gateway units. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb here, but I think the correct tech path maybe should be to go for carriers if you're going for mass shuttles like this, too. You don't need to rely on recall right away, right? You have shuttles you can drop wherever you want. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and maybe it's it's good uh, to keep dropping all over the place. Maybe take I'm, the carriers. I'm not I'm totally to down. Idea, I'm totally down with that. Uh, I think that that's pretty good because when you think about it, like... Um, the Psy Storm is such an important tool against Goliath, so I like it. But here we go, a huge attack incoming. Oh, nice Psy Storm there as well. Yeah, this is fantastic. Oh my God, he's busting this he area. He is rolling this nerd up. He is. This is. A, he's rolling him into a fruit roll up, Artosis. Oh my and he's going to eat him. A fire bat roll up. Fire bat roll up is what's happening here. Wow, look at that. Fruit bat hero over fruit here. Fruit bat hero. He's <laughs> now a fire bat roll up. Um, <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Fruit uh, Bat Hero is now a fire, fire bat, bat roll up. up. Yeah, it's crazy. That, that's that's how. So, I mean, the supply difference when it gets that big, yeah, I mean, that's what you gotta do, man. <laughs> what else can you do? It's, what else can you do, man? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, from here, the game is basically over. Uh, We've seen Terrence try to hold on from positions like this, but basically Protoss is just... Protoss isn't even watching this fight. He's back in his gateways making stuff. Yeah. And you eventually just get up to the high ground where the factories are, and uh, that's it. It's GG. Yeah, you know, after this early game that I thought went all right for Firebat Hero, and I actually liked his position a couple times, uh, some of the drops seem slightly uninspired, but Shuttle was very on top of those as well, I have to say. Yeah. And then some of the harassment that Shuttle did was very strong. Um, and overall, his defense was good. Uh, Shuttle just looked to me like a better player there. It wasn't like one big mistake or something or one big outplay. Just watching that game overall, Shuttle looked really strong. Shuttle is not a player to mess with. This guy's always had very solid PVT. Yeah. Um, he just seems to have a, a very deep understanding of the matchup overall. And I thought that the mass shuttle play, staying true to his name, no pun intended, um, is, it, is, it worked. It, it's a very hard for Terry to deal with a lot of shuttles like that. Uh, Firebat here did a great job. I think his opening did not allow him to get as far ahead as he would want to be, and he wasn't able to close it out. We are going to a short break. We come back, Hero versus Snow. Don't go away. He's back. Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why 버리고 싶다. 뭐 사람이 많이 부정적으로 변하더라고요. 사람을 마주치기가 좀 무섭고 어디론가 숨고 싶었고 정말 죽고 싶죠. 여자로서 굉장히 수치심이 느껴졌고 밥도 잘못 먹고 잠도 잘못 잤어요. 당신이 작성한 한 줄의 악성 댓글 누군가에게 평생 상처가 됩니다. 타차 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 카카오 냅스차 후디스 카카오 냅스차 뭐 마시지? 좀 가볍고 몸에 좋은 거 없나? 어? 새로 나온 카카오 닙스 차 어때? 우와! 
타차 타차 카차 카카오 닙스차 타차 타차 카차 카카오 닙스차 타차 타차 카차 카카오 닙스차 한 번만 보면 이 매력에 쏙 빠질 걸 건강함에 쏙 빠지다 후디스 카카오 닙스차 날카로운 면도 날이 이중 윤활 밴드를 만나다. 시원함까지 더해진 당신의 면도 쿨링을 더한 프로실드 칠로 당신의 면도를 부드럽고 시원하게 질레트 프로실드 칠 남자를 위한 최상의 선택 We're back, and it's time for game number two. Um, I got to say, Shuttle really took down Firebet Hero, showing that we are now in 2017 Brood War, where your old accomplishments might not really matter in a modern ASL game. Certainly. Shuttle, somebody who's been playing since the beginning but never had major success until very, very <laughs> recently. And he's showing why he's had that success. Wait, wait, wait I'm watching a movie trailer. I love this song. With, with Moby. There's nothing wrong with calling Moby Artosis. Once you go Moby, you never go back. Yeah. Once you go Moby, you get to get my Broby. Yeah. Well, is he going to be this able is good to beat my Snowby? Snowby? Yeah. That's, oh, that's no. a big question. Or do I mean by snow, not Snowby? Okay, now here's the question. What song did Snow pick? Jingle Bell. Jingle Bell. <laughs> Imagine that. That'd be so funny. I wish I could qualify for these like leagues some song just, just to choose the best songs possible. Because oh, yeah. like, people generally do not do a very good job yeah. choosing their songs. I would choose a song and people's brains would explode, man. No name. There's no song name here. Maybe that's him playing the piano. <laughs> I will kill my opponents or... And pylons of zealots and attack them in their base. Win, 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 win. I've got all the wallets figured out in PBZ. <laughs> I guess we'll never know what song yeah, that is. I guess we just didn't get the song I'm up not going to sneak the Shazam into my headset to figure that one out. Okay, here he comes moving out with the zealots. Corsair's attacking. GG. That's his soundtrack. <laughs> now, we're on the map, uh, Gold Rush, so I don't really know what a PPC is supposed to look like on this map. <laughs> That's a tough one, I think, for the Protoss. Yeah! I, well, I think it's going to look somewhat similar to what we have been seeing. You know, you're going to go ahead and expand outside. You're going to get your walling going, go into Legs and Corsairs, get your Psy Storm. I think at least in the uh, early stages of the game, it's going to look pretty simple. Let's find out. Our game is up and ready to go. Again, the winner of this match faces off against Shuttle. Um, as we are now in our second to last group in the ASL round of 24. KT Giga Internet, ASL Season 4. In the bottom right, in the teal, we have Hero. Almost in my GS Electro. Had to pull it back there. Uh, and in the top center, in the red, we have Snow. Snow, by the way, truly a fantastic Protoss player. Yeah, he's really strong. You may not be that familiar with him unless you watch, like, everybody who's anybody streaming on Africa TV. Not the most popular player, but 
seriously in, in very fine shape at the moment. So excited to see how he can do this season. Uh, I believe last season he had just gotten out of the military and still put on some really great games. So now that he's going to be much more practiced, I, I think that he has a very good chance to get out of this group, to be honest. Looking at this group, I felt like these two, Snow and Hero, might be the ones that advance. I, uh, D minus 58. I'm like, one is a letter and the other is a number. You fool. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm curious because I feel like there's a lot of exploits in this map Zerk can abuse. Um, I think if you get those eggs cleared up. Then again, I guess, you know, uh, for Protoss, there's also a lot of different ways that you can try to run around later on when you get enough zealot legs. But, you know, generally speaking, if the Zerk can start to hit too many locations at once, the Protoss becomes flimsy. Protoss generally feels comfortable after they've got all their tech up. Got a third base up, everything like that. Yeah. But uh, the journey to get there is a hard one. Uh, getting that, that third gas expand. I wouldn't be too surprised if he ends up taking the top left as his third base. But that's a gateway, right? So he's, Yeah, he's doing the, yeah. um, the Zealot Rush build. I do like that build quite a bit, to be honest. If I was a Protoss player, that'd be what I would be practicing every game. Okay, um, we see now Zerg is going to take a hatchery over here at the front. Now, when you see this Zealot built from the Protoss, it's not here to kill hatcheries, it's here to kill drones. So even though the hatchery is way far out, you're not really worried about losing that hatchery. Yeah. What the Protoss does now, and the, the probe is by far the best worker, by the way, in the game. It's this is like close. the one, the, the super crazy strong that? thing. You can hit from certain angles, run away, and of course the probe is regening shields and has enough shields that... If you're good with it, you probably won't lose any HP. Two probe hits plus two zealot hits, by the way, kill a worker, or a zergling, for that matter. One probe hit and two zealot hits kill a zergling. So. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right, yeah. Two but, probe hits and two zealot hits yeah. kill a drum. That's right. But, uh, it, yeah, the, the probe is pretty crazy what you can get done with it. Now the zealot is walking down, so going to definitely start putting that pressure on. Of course, if you can force a lot of zerglings out, that's really nice. So you want to expand behind this. What you're doing is you're making the Zerg make Zerglings while you're attacking drones, uh, while you as a Protoss are expanding and, and constantly keeping pro production high. Now he runs one Zergling past. So I kind of like that choice, right? Because if you commit too many Zerglings past, the Zelts get serious damage at that point. That's right. Uh, but one Zergling is kind of like this funny number where like you can't just chase it with two probes or something too easily, right? It's a Zergling can kill a probe very quickly, as you see right there. It's like three attacking, and it still wins. Now, you got to be careful not to let the Ling take any more damage. But, um, yeah, as long as you're interrupting mining, it's totally fine. And I think you're totally correct, Artosis, with that. Like, that's the right number. Mm -hmm. um, I like it. What is that probe doing there? It's keeping a lookout on the Overlord. Yeah. It's <laughs> keeping track of where well, that Overlord is. I know if that at. leaves. Yeah. And the Zealots are eventually going to go back here. Now, the Forge is... Um, not late, but uh, he's definitely not going to have cannons up right away here. Now, you got to be careful to hug the wall as a Protoss here. Yeah, a little bit of a mistake right there. Would have yeah. been better if he did run further back. A lot of damage being put onto at least one of these zealots at the moment. Yeah, he needs to micro that one away. Now, as long as you're not surrounded, you can deal some good damage with the zealots. Okay, now, this is the good splitting. I love this. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, Snow kept in keeping his uh, probe alive the entire time for this exact moment. Where he's going to come over here. Looks like he's going to back up anyways. Well, the uh, Zealot will end up falling that one well. And this one kind of running back at the moment. He started his forge already, right? Uh, you know or what? Is, I think it might have just finished. Skip? Okay, yeah. Now, here's the problem. is uh, One of the reasons why this build is hard, if you're watching the StarCraft Remastered launch event that we all casted, um, this is a this build's been around, but it's definitely been modernized. The reason why it's so hard is because you have, Oops. To, keep, you have to keep them busy until you get a cannon up. And that's where Snow messed up here is now yeah. these things are starting to kill workers. He's taking serious damage. A, a cannon was already either killed or canceled right there. A bunch of speedlings in the main base. Wow, snow is kind of falling apart right here. Three speedlings in a base is enough to ruin your day uh, if you're a fast expanding Protoss. These yeah. probes, probes, as good as they are at harassing, they die fast to a bunch of links. They just pop against links. You know? It's kind of crazy. Dude, he's um, taking serious, oh serious, God. serious damage. And honestly, as long as Hero keeps this alive, it's so hard for Protoss to come back. They can. I mean, don't get me wrong, this game's not over at all. But, like, this is... Anybody who's ever played Protoss and experienced this, like, I'm getting triggered right now. Dude, like, this is hard this for me is, to watch as a Protoss okay, player. Okay, he's this lost is, too many. He's lost too many. 
This is crazy how many uh, how many probes have fallen. Oh, snow. So rough. He was sending a probe to the wall, too. And then Ling speed finishes, and here we are. <laughs> well, this is the thing about Lings is that Lings are brood are much stronger than Lings in StarCraft too. Oh, it's not even close. And you know, they're with how fast they are compared to the Zealot. You could, if you're good, you will basically never get touched by the Zealot. So yeah. you can see you can actually edge in and jump right back out. Yeah. And as wonky as you feel like the controls are, if you're new to Brood War, truth is when you get good at moving units around, you are good. Oh yeah, no, they they do whatever you want. Yeah, this, you, you can make units do whatever. Hero is the Pied Piper right now. Yeah. He's, these Zerglings are his rats. Yeah. Like, I mean, when J Jadon gets two, three Zerglings in your base like this, you have to make four Dragoons and flank them. It's the only way you can get <laughs> them tasteless. <laughs> How many workers have been killed here so far? Is it, it be like, like eight 40, or something? 40, 40, 40 probes have died. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's actually crazy. It has to be 10. You think it's up to 10? Mm, probably closer to nine. You know, to be honest, I, like to I, think I, <laughs> I think the follow-up Hydra bust is going to end this game. Oh, yeah. He, now, keep in mind also, even the number of workers that have not mined while this harass has been going on. Not by not that have been killed, but okay, have been four, had the right eight, click. eight kills, four kills, and I didn't even see the other one. But so, yeah, it's actually it's more than I said. It was 30 probes. I was right. <laughs> this is crazy, man. And, you know, as long as he keeps these lings around here, this is a lot of APM that the the, uh, the Protoss has to just commit to holding this. Now, the follow-up Hydra attack, assuming he actually goes for a bust, and it seems like that's kind of what people do now, the Protoss gets gimped early on, is you sort of just mass up a bunch of Hydras, and even if they make all the cannons, sometimes they still lose the game. Look at this. He's going to get another one. Jeez. Four My kills on that word. one, too. Wow. Look at this. He's okay, so, so he actually ended up with like 18 kills on three Zerglings, by the yeah. way. I believe that's a final You can do this too, tally. guys, if you're just fast enough. The tricky part for Zerg is actually doing everything back at home to keep his money down. I mean, we were watching the links for most of this game, but yeah. Hero's my, uh, Macron on three different locations. Yeah, he's he's in just unbelievable shape. That was so much damage from Snow. It's like a sad and embarrassing thing, and he is dead. Yeah. So... Um, this is like, we're about to watch him get power bombed, like WWE style. But no, he's getting thrown off the cage like Mankind. Okay? Yeah, like, like Mankind is... was. This is completely, he is, this is going to be savage, man. He's got Overlord speed too, so it's not like DTs can really help. Storm is, is a while away, I believe. Yeah, because he's like scouting absolutely everything He's like, let's see well. here, how many gates do you have? He's just waiting so he has enough that he can just attack move it, it looks like. Yeah. Now the Lings, of course, are there to tank cannon shots. The problem for the Protoss is because you have to make a little narrow pathway to stop Lings, it's hard to get these Zealots out here to try to fight off everything else later on. Target down the cannons first because the Zealots will fall later on. And this is going to be possibly the most straightforward game we've casted here. Again, that Ling harass was so completely and totally beautiful and terrifying if you're a Protoss player. Um, that was just wild. What, what else can you really say? It, it, that was game-ending damage. It was too yeah. much. You can't lose 18 things to three links. It doesn't even matter what those things are. Uh, congratulations to Hero. And that means we are going to have a Hero versus Shuttle game, which is going to be so good. Yeah, that is going to be quite nice. But the way that Hero just manhandled the snow, we better see uh, Shuttle really cross his T's and dot his eyes. Not winter time yet, buddy. That was brutal. Um, Hero, though, is easily one of the scariest Zergs. Very well-rounded. Um, any opportunity that, that, that Hero has, he will take. Yeah. His ZVP especially, that's like his specialty matchup. This is, of course, not to be confused with Hero. The other 10 or 12 different heroes there are in other esports, RTS and not. Yeah. If you're going to become Very a pro gamer, guys, I would recommend don't name yourself Hero. Yes. There's enough of them already. <laughs> uh, we're going to go to a short break. When we return, Hero versus Shuttle, possibly our best match of the night. Stay tuned.
Ini Meju <목소리도> 저는 이게 서드할 때한 번도 진 적이 없어요. 지금 PD님께서 저를 처음 보시지만 진짜 저는 거의 백판하면 90, 구판 정도? 이게 팀들이 저랑 이제 나이인지랑 
I forge because I'm afraid. Well. Because the world is a scary place yeah. for a Protoss player and a Forge first. He might, he might proxy gate, to be honest. It's such a long map. Like, what are you going to I don't feel like there's a... I think he has to take a risk, like either Nexus first or like Proxy Gate. Oh, no Scout Nexus? Yeah, why not? Let's it's a long out. map, man. All right, we're going to go into the winner's match on Crossing Fields. Shuttle versus Hero. Giga Internet. ASL Season 4. Got a So in the center left, we have Hero. In the center right, we have Shuttle. There he is. There he is, Hero. His beautiful head of hair. Not as beautiful as my head of hair today. Shuttle also a with a beautiful head of hair. I haven't gotten a haircut yet. I can tell. I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking a little doofy, but yeah, the proxy gate tasteless. Here we go. My man. My man. My man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, dude. I love, I love that we're zooming in. I want us to zoom in more. I want us to zoom out. I just want to do whole game zoomed out. Yeah. I want to always be able to see a Bengalis on the screen no matter what. That's right. That's like how, that's my dream, my vision for StarCraft Brood War being. He's been writing on the Battle.net forums for so long. This is kind of a cool spot to put it to. It's not really close, but it's not probably going to get scouted at all. Makes a forge there. I'm like, what? <laughs> It's like a gateway to forge. You know, there's this trick that Protoss can do. He does a forge do. fast expand to that base. I'm like, what? You know, there's, what? There's he just falls out of the group. I'm like, how did? He, how are you in ASL? <laughs> That's not even real. <laughs> you, you, you know, there's this trick you can do as Protoss. You've probably seen it where you make one to two gates and you rush with zealots, but you also just get a forge. And oh, you make yeah. a cannon at the bottom of the ramp, and you just yeah. wall with two zealots. It's funny. And then you're like, well, I actually can do a lot of stuff from here, but it's going to be annoying. Um, so I, I like but, this for the map, man. But this is, Good I think player. this is a smart play. Because um, Zergs are going to try to get greedy. Now, uh, that being said, you can hold off a double uh, gateway build if you're expanding to the back of your base like he is. Yeah, it's, it is a possibility. Was, uh, that, was that gate 9, gate 10? Yeah, it was. Okay. Um, or, or either that or double nine gate. I didn't actually look, but I see his ten supply. So one of the gates was definitely on nine. Um, he mean ten, yeah. But look, where he placed the gate, it blocks where the nexus will go. So I mean, this game's got to end early. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's coming in here. Now, what you want to do? It, 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 it can telegraph what's happening, but you want to try to get a few hits on each of the drones. Yeah, as many as you can. You got to make. And then have the zealot yeah. come in there, and then shift click down the drones. This is this is going to be a little bit of a hard hold, man. Like his pool not yet half done. Zealot's going to be on their way very very shortly. It's not going to be as bad as if he had expanded to the natural um, oh, south yeah. of this, though. Well, that would be like it, he would be in just the worst shape ever at that point. This could go very badly, though. The probe's still harassing on this drone a bit. So the zealot's now coming up. Now he doesn't have Ooh, confirmation. He's pooling two of them. Rut row. He pulls. So he, oh my God! Is he gonna? This is actually. This might actually work. So the the the, the way the Overlord scouts, and that's one of the most important things to know on this map. The Overlord scouts the natural. Oh. Th now that's when he should be worried, right? Because he doesn't see anything. He there. sees nothing at the ramp. Now he knows. Like if yeah. you see nothing at the natural and nothing at the ramp, and now he sees no gas. He's like, wait, where so, are the main bases on this map? <laughs> okay, so he's coming down here. Oh, oh my God! He's gonna get one of those drones. He almost did actually. <laughs> Oh my god, he got one. Okay, well. That was actually great. Keep in mind, Zerg don't get a lot of drones early, guys. No, that's insane that he lost a drone already. And three Zealots popping in. Oh. Okay, now there's a sunk colony being made that's tucked in between the pool, the minerals, and the hatch. Um, but the problem is that Zerg can always, Frost can always play around this. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I didn't realize that was cat canceled. Oh, he's here. just going to run Lings across. So this is going to be a little bit base tradey. Uh, he's actually sending a Zealot home and seeing what's happening here. And he has to just make Lings here, have that sunken up. He has, like, a lot of can, Lings. Can he get those uh, Zealots back before the Lings get there? I don't think he Not can. Not before. The, the Lings are a little but bit it's, quicker. It's fine. He's got two Zealots. Like, he's, the, the Zerglings, if he just, look at that. He's already killed two of them. Now these Zerglings going back are not really that worthwhile. It's not like they are uh, speed Oh, my God. He's sending all of his uh, links out now. Oh, my God. Dude, for Zerg right now, this is crazy. Now, like, the, the trick from here is you make a forge. 
<coughs> um, and back in your uh, natural, you make cannons. You should you should win. That's usually the way to go. Um, now, that being said, I don't believe that Protoss is privy to the information of the other mass metal links that are coming down. So, the fact that he sent all the links out now also means the Zealots can pounce on the Sunken Colony, I think. Well, he's going to have to just use the most miraculous drone drills ever. I, I want to be Obi-Wan Kenobi for a moment here for Hero and say this is not the situation you're looking for. Uh, <laughs> what a... What a gross spot that he's in right now. These Zealots here are going to help out so much. He made the forge like he wanted him to. Look at that. Trapping Lings. Oh, Ooh, double sun. Know, Doubles. But he's on, sitting here one, on one, one base. One hatch. Yeah, it's, it's one hatch. You make one cannon here, this will finish yeah, if, no if, matter if what. If the cannon finishes the game, the, the pro Zerk cannot with kill, two, kill With him. two Zealots you, in probes, you don't have enough time. You can't kill this before it, you know? It's just like the, the cannon finishes and you do no damage. Okay, so when cannon is done, <laughs> Zerg's on one base. Okay, he's trying to go for that cannon, but uh, you also have to have Lings after the <laughs> after the cannon is killed off. Yeah. So and Shuttle's <clears throat> basically going to get out of this group, and um, yeah, this is how do you win from here? He has speed. Oh, I mean, you, you that's the only can. thing you can even say about him is that he so, has speed. In case you're wondering, like he's is a it, Zerg player. His color's yellow. He has speed. It, it is <laughs> worth it for Protoss to have gateways in the middle of the map and lose them later on if you can keep Zerg on one hatch. Oh yeah. I mean, it's just, remember, guys, there's no queen here. If you don't have, like, enough hatches, you can't make anything. Now, the speedling's taking control of the map. He's going to try to expand from here, but... The, the other difficulty for um, for the Zerg player in general is that there's a lot of different ways Protoss can play that are effective here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. Um, you know, you can just as easily uh, expand as you can one base and try, try to go for Corsairs right away and slow them down. Yeah, it, it, every situation is really good for for yeah. shuttle. You can really kind of see it reflected in the supplies. 16 supply, 17 supply now. A lot of that Zerglings. The economy for Zerg is just nil here. It's nothing. Right. Like, there, there's enough probes that that like we actually have shuttle with an economy. You can actually make things. Whereas right now, Hero is struggling to make his drones, get a hatchery up. Of course, he has no real tech. He's had to make two sunkens. He's made so many lings, which have done almost nothing. Yeah. Look at this. He's just trading as best he can. He was like, okay, well, I got a Zealot, but I lose like four four lings, you know? This is the second time we've seen somebody uh, go for gates in the middle on this map. I think Stork did the, did the other one, right? It might have been Stork. I can't recall. Was that the, I think it was Stork. But, yeah, another Protoss did, did do a, a similar strategy. Yeah. Uh, it was in a different you know, the location. The thing is, though, on... Two-player maps, man. You you have to know that this is an option for Protoss. And on a like, map on a four-player like map, this. Protoss is probably just not going to be able to get away with this mm. uh, ever. So now that being said, he still did expand to the back of his base. It wasn't like he you know did something brazen or greedy. The Zerg was just trying to play a normal game. Um, he tried to send the the Zerglings out, but sending the two Zealots home was perfect by shuttle. You know, making the forge and getting a cannon oh, was perfect by for shuttle. Some, for some of you StarCraft 2 guys that might be wondering, well, why don't you just scout with a drone everywhere, try to find it? You start out with four workers in this game, so you're not building up to a lot of workers for oh, a no. while, so to send a worker out immediately is such a loss in income, it's crazy. You tried to just use your overlords as Zerg in the early, very the early scouts, parts, yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, I oh, like no. the Spire. Uh... Okay, Protoss is just too good at controlling his zealots. That yeah. was actually about as perfect as I he thought he would do, do a little bit better with that, actually, with the links. Well, uh, he, he patches a couple more, so he can clean these. But um, I, I want to mention the Spire, because the Spire is almost uh, kind of predictable, obviously. And I, I think that Shuttle knows even if he didn't scout it. Especially because he dived onto the cannons so hard. Remember when he dived on the cannon, just sacrificed all the links in the main base? Oh, Sometimes, yeah. like, something like that can... That's uh, smart. Forecast. I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, to just get extra actual health off, obviously the shields will come back. But, like, it does kind of forecast where you're going. Uh, but with two, like, see, Shuttle knows what's going on. He's going two Stargate Corsair right now. And that's... Hey, by the way, he doesn't. He does not care if uh, his opponent knows because he made it right under the Overlord. Oh, yeah. Well, he's, he's like, got two bases. He, just, he, he can just make a bunch of Corsairs and then, like, get other stuff. By the way, you don't have to go double Stargate, but you could just blind, like, hard lockout air. And then, thing is, you already have so many workers. Like, look at the supplies right now. 28 to 50, guys. Um, 
you are at such an economic advantage. You can go for all Corsairs and switch back into ground and still mess the Zerg up. I mean, oh, this, again, totally. this is all a response to the to the two gate rush. And uh, in case anybody's confused watching this and saying, "Wait a minute," but weren't the gateways stopped? Didn't the rush not end the game? This is exactly the way the game's supposed to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're probably, if you go ahead and kill them in their main and destroy everything good for you, that's great. But usually a good player will get shut out of a, a base like we saw here and have to start all over. And a good player will also, no matter what, usually get your gateways. But now you're in the position you want to play. Oh, he's going to go for the uh, Scourge trying to come in here and assassinate a Corsair. Yeah, snap a Corsair neck if possible. This is a great scout by Zerg at least, right? Yeah. He sees the timing of the Citadel. He literally saw it warp in. So he's going to know when legs are going to be able to be done. So that's very, very valuable. He's only made two Scourge, as far as I know. So that's actually really good as well, because the double Stargate Corsair, like, I mean, it's still valuable, but he, thank God he didn't make Mutas, right? Every Muta you make is just dead money against two Stargate Corsair. So, as you can see, Zerg is slowly trying to crawl back into this game. Yeah. Um, it's not impossible, by the way. I mean, I don't want to talk about Zerg like he's dead and there's nothing he can do. I just The Protoss early game strategy worked, and now we're watching Zerg try to wiggle his way back in. Usually yeah. in this matchup, what happens is Protoss is trying to squeeze out bases as Zerg is growing at a very scary rate, and Protoss has to respect that. But doing a rush like this, beautiful play. But, but doing a rush like this shuts down the Zerg so hard that then Protoss can take a lead. And now is where the Corsairs are going to start snowballing this game. Yeah, this is where we're going to see red supply for a very long yeah. time. Oh, wow. He miscontrolled the Scourge. It's still, it's still oh, okay. Oh, he got one. Yeah, that was a little bit surprising. Well, they both hick up there in their movement. So, Zerg tries hide overlords on the map at this point in time. Um, this is where I would pause the game, take a screenshot. How would you know? How would you know? <laughs> Send me a screenshot right now. I'm talking to the WG Tour admins right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here comes Zots. This is uh, not a lot of units out right now, and his supply is 36 of 12, so it's not like he can make more. But actually, with the Speedlings coming back, he's going to be fine at cleaning that up. The problem is, even if you're losing a Corsair here and there, if you just continue to get rid of their overlords, they can never make anything. There's only three hatches, by the way. I'm sorry, four hatches with that down there. Uh, so you know where the overlords are coming out of. So he's going to probably loop around. Yeah, he's going to make them all at the natural. That's like the natural entrance for DTs. He's cut two hatches there so he can hatch more Hydras right there. Finally, he's getting an Evolution Chamber so he can get a Spore as well. But these Corsairs, like, against the few amount of Hydras there are, they're just going to kill all the Overlords again. Look at this. We're at 30 of 21. He no, can just kill go for these. it, man. I was going to say, so like, it's don't like, be shy. Okay, so now you lose 300 extra Minerals because you weren't ready to defend this. 400 yeah, extra Minerals. And... The amount that Shuttle does not care about that hull damage on those Corsairs cannot be overstated. Isaac, now you don't have a supply to stop five Zealots! <laughs> <laughs> it's true, he needs to pull some back. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, are those Overlords? Oh, I don't think a, so, homie. That's a sunk as GG. well. GG, technical victory by Shuttle. Yep. Okay, well, Shuttle gets out in first place. Not what I was foreseeing going into tonight, even via his interview, not what he was foreseeing, but... you uh, got to respect Shuttle, man. I really do think he was one of the, one he of played the very, well. very top-tier good Protosses. He just plays a modern P game we're not used to seeing. Um, so that means we got one Protoss advancing. Uh, Hero's going to go down to our final match. And coming up next, we have uh, Snow versus Firebat Hero. Fire versus Snow. Fire versus Snow. Songs of fire in the snow. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Oh my Whoa. god! Whoa! Did you guys see what I did there? You know what? Taste. Am I the guy? If this doesn't work out, you could work for a sitcom. Yeah. Oh my god! You're exactly as funny as the Drew Carey show. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah. You and Norm MacDonald side by side! Oh my god! Congratulations, he says, thank you! Two wins and you're in the round of 16. How do you feel? Feels like a dream. This is the second time I made it down to the round of 16. You seem nervous beforehand. You're a little bit shaky, actually. Yeah, I was feeling nervous. I still feel nervous, actually. In some ways, I'm more nervous after the game. 
So there's even stronger players waiting for you in the round of 16. How are you going to prep for the round of 16? Well, I think I'm, as long as I make it to the round of 16, I'm pretty confident. I'm really happy to advance. All I can say is I'm just really happy right now. Are you just pretending that you're nervous? My hands moved okay. Even throughout the game, I wasn't that nervous. But now that it's finished, now I feel nervous. Yeah. Ah, 깜짝 놀랄 만한 일이 있었잖아요. 셔틀이 딱 날아갔을 때 이동 선수의 그 경기도 레이스를 받았어요. It was a very surprising moment. 그때가 가장 그 떨리는 순간 아니었나 싶은데요. I can fire bad hero. Fire bad hero wasn't quite prepared. But fire bad hero, excuse me, fire bad hero then had a ramp. He was prepared. Yeah, that's true, but I was already ahead from everything I did early on. So, uh, it was fine. Oh, so, you see it pretty weird now. I kind of prefer it. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Star balloons. Oh, that's how you make money on the TV. So, earlier, all you were thinking is, I hope people donate. And he said, yeah. So, listen, my fans, please send me star balloons. Please fill up my stream up tonight with Star Balloons. So you did the proxy gates in that scene. That suddenly those links, they were headed right towards your main. But you seem pretty composed. I used the cheat key. Even at, uh, before this, there wasn't enough people for me to practice with. So when I studied on that map, I thought, how can I beat a Zerg here? Especially Hero. I had a lot of different ideas in my mind, but I was wondering, should I use this build or this other build? So I just followed what Stork did. Oh, so we were right at what Stork did to Dinner Christmas. So, uh, I thought, okay, if this doesn't work, I'll just uh, have another chance to advance in the, in the last match, but I just went with a build I thought was good. Usually in those positions, I built a proxy game. The Overlord shouldn't go by that location. 이전에 조희장 선수랑 장윤철 선수 경기 보셨잖아요. 대기실에서 그 경기가 좀어 영향을 받았나요? So before you watch Heroes games, 우리 토스 저렇게 칠수 있어요. 아 아무 영향도 없었고. 방송 사기 플러스. Did you have that plan? 저글린 사기. 네. 네. 저글린 또발 빠르잖아요. 네. The Hero vs Snow game didn't really affect my mindset at all. 시청자 여러분께. Sorry, that's what I was talking about. 인사 말씀 해야죠. 가장 좋아하는 시간이시죠? 네. 네. 어 시청자분들 오늘 시청자 여러분 감사합니다. Anywhere it's your fans. Thank you to my fans who support me. And all my friends and family are watching my streams. A lot of people said guaranteed I was going to get eliminated, but I've proven them wrong. This is my season, the fall. I'm back. And I'm going to make it to another championship. Congratulations, Shuttle. Shuttle is just a cute, squishy nerd. He really is. I like him. He is. I feel like he's like a certain character out of like a kid's cartoon. You know what I mean? I like it. We're going to a break. We come back. Fire Bat Hero versus Snow. Don't go away.
우리 아빠 좀 찾아주세요. 저기요, 우리 아빠 좀 찾아주세요. 아빠, 이제 나와도 돼. 코로 할로윈 2, he's back. 왜 이렇게 XX이 생겼냐 가슴 작네 게임 쓰레기처럼 하네 니 XX이다 같은 칼로 XX여버리고 싶다 뭐 사람이 많이 부정적으로 변하더라고요 사람을 마주치기가 좀 무섭고 어디론가 숨고 싶었고 정말 죽고 싶죠 여자로서 굉장히 수치심이 느껴졌고 밥도 잘못 먹고 잠도 잘못 잤어요 당신이 작성한 한 줄의 악성 댓글 누군가에게 평생 상처가 됩니다 카차, 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 카카오 닙스차, 후디스 카카오 닙스차. 뭐 마시지? 좀 가볍고 몸에 좋은 거 없나? 어? 새로 나온 카카오 닙스차. 어때? 우와! 카차, 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 카카오 닙스차. 카차, 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 카카오 닙스차. 카차, 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 카카오 닙스차. 한 번만 보면 이 매력에 쏙 빠질 걸. 건강함에 쏙 빠지다 후디스 카카오 닙스차 날카로운 면도날이 이중 윤활 밴드를 만나다 시원함까지 더해진 당신의 면도 쿨링을 더한 프로쉴드 칠로 당신의 면도를 부드럽고 시원하게 질레트 프로쉴드 치아 남자를 위한 최상의 선택 Here at the ASL, and we're going to go into uh, the losers match. Firebat hero, legendary Terran player from the past, also some of the funniest winning ceremonies ever. Yeah. Now a established StarCraft commentator going up against Snow. Um, definitely somebody who was in the shadows of many other pros before him. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure. You know, I don't feel like Snow got to show us what he's really made of in that one game against Hero. No, no, of course. You get you lose 18 units to three Zerglings, that's just like the game is over. Uh, I, I don't know what this game will look like. Like, overall, Shuttle did Whoa. look quite a bit better there than was a look. You see that look he gave? Yeah, man. <laughs> I, my heart stopped for a second. I was like, does he see me? <laughs> Maybe man, he was I mean, it's, it's really cool if he can do something here, just because his, his ceremonies are more legendary even than you know, anything else about him, truly, even though he was quite a good player. Not like top tier, but very good. Like playing in pro leagues and star leagues and stuff. Definitely um, not a champion, but... Of course, there's a lot of weird stuff you can do on this map as well. We do want to wa watch uh, for if and how the map is cut in half if we get that far along. Um, usually the right side of the map tends to arc towards the top. Left side of the map arcs towards the bottom. So. And uh, we're finally ready to go. It's going to be on crossing field. 1.34. Ooh. In case you're wondering the version. version, that's my favorite version of crossing field. Yeah. God, I love my life. 1.33 was crap. It was garbage. Fight. I'm so glad they saved it. At least one person thinks we're serious. Or Season four. We're not. I am serious. Everything is serious. Everything is serious.
bottom right in the red. Our Terran player, Firebat Hero. His opponent in the upper left in the, the white, it's Snow. You know what? With those caps and Snow's name, do you know who that just reminded me of? Ready uh, for your brain to explode? Go ahead. Ouches. Oh, God. Ouches. I forgot about that player. Yeah. He was the guy who thought he was going to... He claimed... What did he claim he was going to go to Korea and be a pro or something weird like that? Oh, yeah. That? No, he was like just this... this. Yeah. He was something like that. I don't remember exactly. I just remember he was a pro DOS that wasn't nearly as good as he thought he was. Yeah. Is Ouch is the same guy that also had, like, his name as a bunch of characters and letters? Remember, there was, like, P, and it was, like, a series of numbers. It was really, really weird. Oh, it might have been. I mean, everyone had so many Smurf IDs. It's kind of crazy. Did Ouches ever go to tournaments? I don't remember. Oh, I don't think so. You sure? He might have gone to one or two, but he didn't win them, that's for sure. <clears throat> yeah, I played with him a little bit. That's crazy, though. You just yeah. brought up a name I would have completely No, I, I forgot forever, but I was just looking at Snow's name. O.W. Popped out to me. I thought you were going to say John Snow. No. <laughs> Anyone right now who's making Jon Snow references and jokes to his name? Come on, guys. We're going to find out Let's if he's talk a true to you king about, of the north about man. humor. So, um, so far it looks like we're going to have uh, pretty ordinary builds here. Firebat Hero going for a quick command center. Protoss is going for a quick nexus. Uh, I'm still curious to see exactly how this is supposed to pan out, really. Um, when you both go for quick nexus... Or both for a quick, quick, uh, you know, Nexus or Command Center at the same time. It's like, okay, well, who's supposed to take the initiative then here? I'm actually not sure. Well, I did like from Fire, or not Fire Red Hero, but yesterday, uh, what was it? Um, was it Mong who went for the 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 16 CC into a three factory push and yeah. did a really fantastic job with three siege tanks and just like a vulture rally? That was like a, a really cool play. I really liked and appreciated that build, just putting the pressure on, knowing that, you know, in these types of situations, you kind of just want to take another base, because you're like, ah, they just can't have very much, because they fast expanded too. Right, yeah. So, like, who can be just slightly greedier than their opponent? Yeah, it's it's a weird thing where you both end up going down this path of greed. Yeah. You're like, I could take another Nexus. He only has, like, one tank and two vultures <laughs> right now. Yeah, yeah. But turns out when you triple that, it you gets find very out you're scary. like, wait a minute, he had a dropship too. <gasps> <laughs> then you lose Protoss. So, um, oh, good harass here, slowing down the CC. Wow, taking a little bit of damage there on that probe. <coughs> yeah, just scouting going on. I mean, this is what this will look like for a little bit. It's gonna take a while for this game to get all warmed up, considering they did take such fast expansions. Interested to see how Snow wants to play the map as well. I feel like Protosses are getting better and better at the map right now. Yeah, I think that um, we probably will see another carrier tech here. I think going Arbiters puts you in a weird spot where you're just going to get rolled. I don't agree with exactly that. Oh, no? Um, like, I guess the one of the aspects of it is that Terran gets three bases, like, basically no matter what, like, super duper unbelievably easy, and on three bases... You can hit really strong timing pushes. Yeah, if Terran has three bases, they're okay. Yeah, like three you can, bases, you, you can, can actually this max game out anything. Yeah, you, you can. You can go max out on two one basically on three bases, especially off this build. Like with this build, the the sixteen CC, you can hit like a fourteen minute max with with like two one. It's it's crazy. Like you get the sick mechanics. There you go, and it's uh, it can be very very difficult to stop. What do you think of this pylon here at the upper right? I don't think that's there to spot. <laughs> I think, Call it a hunch. Yeah, I think you might be right about that one. And I think that the SCV uh, scooting through there so much, uh, it didn't oh, you see know goon range. But, oh, look at this. Actually, you know, you know what that's out. there for? That's there to pull uh, workers. We're seeing this more and more. So he has vision just barely of the gas. So occasionally, if you have to pull probes, there are, of course, it's always better to pull probes. I mean, pull probes into a fight, by the way, guys. When you want to pull probes, um, having a pylon out. This seems to be standard now for all Protosses. They hide one pylon on the map for this. Oh, never mind. It's actually a proxy. I'm sorry. What? Okay, so multiple proxy gates here. What? Huh. Kind of interesting. What? What is this? This is really cool. I am yeah, very not, confused. Not completely sure about um, it. This is not very much uh, of a thing. It's actually... Four, three gates, four total, but three 
uh, in the very north oh, up here. He's made three gates in the north, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah oh, three okay. gates. Yeah. Four total if you count the one in his main. No, there's four gates total. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is this is kind of interesting to see him going this aggressive with he's, it. He's he's doing a wonky all in, followed up with this. Because huh. let me tell you something, man. You know, I don't think you're gonna recover very well with four gateways sitting out here on the map. No, not too well. Like you can you can. Have, I guess. Like, okay, hold on, hold on. You I, can hold this area for a long time. Now is siege mode on the way, or is mines or uh, mines on the way? Well, here, here's the other thing too: is Taren didn't wall at the ramp, right? You don't That's need. True. You don't normally need to because nothing's gonna happen. But Snow's doing this. Crazy rush. He's gonna have to dive on that first siege tank. I think in this scenario, if you get that first siege tank, you're in sick shape. But if FBH is really quick. Look at that SCV's scouting for everything, making a turret ring right now against a four game play. Uh, but if he is really quick with his siege tank and saves it and can repair that bunker, then I he, he oh can really God. hold like look at how smart this is he only has the, the units from the gateway in the main over on the left side the other units at the ramp are up here where they can't be seen unless an SUV scouts them and I think he wants to wait for the next wave of three dragoons yeah. I assume it's three dragoons I don't know this rush he's doing double eBay too holy what? crap he he's wants going to do mass this. bio this is crazy well okay so this has become a situation where a firebat hero will win 100% if he holds like at all they, like this bio that he's going for. Oh my god, I can't even believe he's going bio. This is so crazy. All right, here we go. Oh man. And he is diving on these sea shanks immediately right now. Is he going to be able to repair this bunker enough? No, I think the bunker does not get saved oh. here as long as he targets down some of these SCVs in a proper fashion. Remember, the Marines, you can each target and end up targeting something differently. So More so SCVs many coming down though. Like, he can actually maybe hold this right now, Tasteless. Oh my god. I was 100% certain he would not be able to uh, save the bunker. It was good micro to get his SCVs around the bunker. Maybe we needed a move command by Snow or something to I try to so. block some of the surface area off. But now that he held that and he's getting 1-1 one, one for bio against only gateway units. Oh, dude, he should have had more trick, SCVs sitting you, there. Yeah, if you target down the bunker like that, then have four Dragoons target down the tank because it's uh, eight shots total to kill a tank. There you go. That, that's all you had to do. Uh, if he keeps making Dragoons here and sending them forward, Without a bunker present, he can't hold. But he, he can hold the ramp, though. He can absolutely hold the ramp. He just like puts some SCVs on it, sieges up a little bit further back. He can even make a wall using this command center as part of I it. I think the thing is he can just ki keep killing SCVs. Yeah, but these SCVs should be on the ramp, not at the bottom of the ramp. And the siege tank should be further back. I'm like really surprised he's trying to build a turret there right now. Like, What is that going to do? The thing is, if he just keeps hitting SCVs, yeah, I mean, I'm surprised he's letting this happen. Like, you've got to get him out of the vision of the dragoons, right? If you just sit on the high ground, what do you do? You lose this turret. He must think a DT is on the way. Oh, he, well, in this case, he's right. There is a DT on the way. <laughs> but like, the thing is, you can just build a turret on the high ground as well. I feel like he lost like eight more SCVs well, there than he needed to. Here's what's weird: is Protoss doesn't know it's an actual bio play from here. He's probably assuming there's like two to yeah. three factories up here. So. This is really awkward for Firebat Hero. Firebat Hero wanted to take three bases, mass up Medic Marine, and throw the Protoss off totally, since Protoss might go into greedy mode. Yeah. But instead, it's like Terrence playing almost like he's against the Zerg right now. Um, and, I mean, the bio, the, the army is not going to win for Snow. You need splash damage. As soon as you have Psy Storm or Reavers, then the bio does nothing. But in a situation uh, otherwise than that, like, you will kill everything else. Look at this, going for the turrets. Oh, noes. But of course, I guess if you're going to go for uh, bio here, you always have scan. Look, I mean, this is just, Protoss just brute forces this. This is very straightforward. You could try to be that hero Terran, I think, all day, and it's not going to help you when you consider that Protoss is just operating with such an easy macro Ooh. position here. No scan. Oh, now that is a scan. Oh, hero tank. What? How many racks does he have? Like, what? Does well, he have that's any the thing. I think he only has one racks, man. Oh, jeez. No, he has two at least. I saw. This is what's funny. Is this is actually better to go for DTs when they're mecking like this? I feel like he's pushing too hard to keep his low ground base. Like both of these times, he could have withdrawn a bit better. Do you know what I mean? Rodosus or Terran? Terran. Like he's. The amount he wants to keep the slow ground base, like if you just back up for a moment against some of these all-ins, get everything in good position, a lot of times you can just bust down and take it for good. Oh my god. But here's the thing, the other tank is low on HP, I don't think it was repaired, so it can be shot down almost immediately. 
that he stemmed, so that's uh, definitely yeah, an important that, thing to hear. That's the most important I guess the tell. DTs saw the barracks anyways, so yeah, yeah, he's going Reavers. That makes a lot of sense. Great way to spend his extra minerals, have some splash damage here to just wreck the bio. I gotta say, I'm very surprised by how crazy creative and unorthodox a lot of these games are when you have a best of one in Brood War. Yeah. The number of times we've seen a proxy gate, the number of times we've seen, like, for instance, this where he's gonna go for some kind of uh, bio play here to try to throw his opponent off. <laughs> um, so, in case you're confused by that, you can fire up ground. You can't see if something shoots at you in Brood War. It's not like StarCraft 2 where things are shooting at you and you just can't see them, so you can't fire at all. It basically reveals its vision. The tank will once it fires a yeah. shot. You just say that happens. You have uh, uh, some, some chance to miss here. Whenever that happens. Now, even though snow is not being cost efficient at all uh, by attacking this front, it doesn't matter because he's growing too fast. Well, especially now that he's going to have reavers out. Like I would even invest in uh, speed for the shuttle just to make sure you're not getting oh, yeah. caught by stem marines. But. Like, Reavers are such a strong counter. He needs to go right-click on this CC, man. He can actually get that wow. if he goes fast enough. Oh, no! Well, I guess Firebat Hero's not getting out of this group. No, it um, really does bad. not look I, like I it. I appreciate the cool build he was doing, but, uh, you know, the, the crazy thing is, is as awesome as it would have been to see Firebat Hero surprise Snow, but Snow went with, with, with for a quicker, more surprising okay. uh, build himself. Yeah, it, to be fair, if he can destroy the Reavers, like, if he just gets a catch on him or something, then he can still win this. Oh, doesn't look like that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, and this is why you basically don't go uh, for Bio normally against the Protoss player is one reverse shot will blow up all the Marines you have. Um, and so I think we should see GG here. This is really the moment where he actually has the power to, to break through. Okay, well, that is, that is absolutely going to be that now. I, I like the strategy choices that both these guys brought in here today, you know? GG. Unfortunately, no ceremonies tonight from Firebat Hero. Nope. Snow uh, looking pretty happy. Um, Firebat Hero, you know, I, I, I feel for the guy. Yeah. He just didn't get to do it. Was, it was tough, to and he was outclassed tonight. Like, both sure. players did look better. There were definitely sloppy parts of that defense. When your opponent was just trying to bust you with that many gateway units suddenly, and you, you save your bunker and then you just send all your SCVs back to mine? No, 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 no. It's like the same thing if someone's trying to ling bust you, just keep some SCVs off. He's spending all of his money on units. I you can't just mine. I wonder what Firebat Hero realized that those were actually proxy gates. Mm. He yeah, got I'm thrown sure. off by that. Um, oh well, I hope to see Firebat Hero next time in the ASL. It was very cool to see him qualify for this. Yeah, yeah, I hope he continues to play. I know he will. Uh, will he get it next season? We'll see. Definitely had a tough time of things here, but people are only going to continue to improve. That's uh, right. Brood War Remastered is out. Brood War HD. <laughs> Just you not use none of the words that they use. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, coming up next, we have uh, an exciting match. It's going to be the rematch. Hero versus Snow. We'll be back after this short break. He's back. Hey, 
이렇게 X이 생겼냐 가슴 작네 게임 쓰레기처럼 하네 니 X이다 같은 칼로 죽여버리고 싶다 뭐 사람이 많이 부정적으로 변하더라고요 사람을 마주치기가 좀 무섭고 어디론가 숨고 싶었고 정말 죽고 싶죠 여자로서 굉장히 수치심이 느껴졌고 밥도 잘못 먹고 잠도 잘못 잤어요 당신이 작성한 한 줄의 악성 댓글 누군가에겐 평생 상처가 됩니다 카차 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 카카오 냅스차 후디스 카카오 냅스차 뭐 마시지? 좀 가볍고 몸에 좋은 거 없나? 어? 새로 나온 카카오 냅스차 어때? 우와! 카차 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 카카오 냅스차 카차 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 카카오 냅스차 카차 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 카카오 냅스차 한번 맛보면 이 매력에 쏙 빠질걸? 건강함에 쏙 빠지다 후디스 카카오 립스차 날카로운 면도 날이 이중 윤활 밴드를 만나다 시원함까지 더해진 당신의 면도 쿨링을 더한 프로쉴드 칠로 당신의 면도를 부드럽고 시원하게 질레트 프로쉴드 치아 남자를 위한 최상의 선택 블러드시티 에버랜드 Tosis. Yes, indeed. Hopefully a much better one than the previous. Hero going up against Snow. The map is going to be fighting Spirit. Snow, watch out for his three Zerglings. Yeah. Be careful. It's like two Zerglings running towards his base. He's like, I got this. And then a third one joins from a different direction. No! Uh, no! He just rushes to Lair to get drops for Overlord. Slow drops three Lings in. The Corsair barely doesn't kill it in time. No! no! Please. Uh, in all seriousness, <laughs> now, if Zerk does get three links in your base, man, and you're going for a pass expand, you're going to have a bad time. Totes my goats. What do you think? Is Snow going to be able to clean up his play a little bit, take this one down? I think that we just have to see if, if Hero can get an opening. Whether it's three links, whether it's there's not enough cannons and Hydras come in here. Uh, if he, I think if Snow gets a third base up, gets his tech done, then it's 50-50. But otherwise, uh, it's going to be very tough to beat Hero. Unless Snow does like some kind of crazy rush, but nobody does anything crazy Fight. in Fighting Spirit. <laughs> KT Giga Internet, ASL Season 4. Gotta miss you, I got Okay, so we have Hero in the bottom right, Snow in the bottom left. And Tosis yes. on the right side of the desk, Tasis on the left side of the desk. 
depending on what angle you're looking at. But yep. for us, that's how it is. Stage left, stage right. Is stage left and stage right from the audience or from the stage? Oh, you know what? I'm not sure. I think I think it's exit stage. What is the exit stage right? That's if you're the actor on the stage, you go on the right side. If you're, you're right or they're right. You, you, you go on your right. Cause it's, it's, which it's, way it's, are you facing? What if they're supposed to be looking at your back? The stage right still... Is it your left now? If you're facing the audience, you want you want to base it off if you're facing... I think. Someone's going to tweet at me and tell so me... So what about stage starboard? Which side is that? Well, I mean, the real question is where's stage poop deck? I mean, we don't know. <laughs> poop deck. Remember so that? Isn't that funny, guys? Boats have parts of them called poop decks. Yeah. I gotta... I, I'm... A, I'm I might be an adult, but that, this is my humor level, guys. Mm. I'm 33 years old and I pay my taxes, but you know what? <laughs> Poop deck makes me grin. Yeah. Kind Forger gate, gate, Forger gate, gate. Forger it's gate, gate, gate. It's gate. All right. He's not going to change his play just because it went wrong once. Come on. Come now, on. what really happened last time, guys, is the um, Zealots did not delay the Lings enough. Uh, although, sometimes Protoss is getting the Forge a little bit faster during that rush. In this case, we saw... Uh, Snow getting the gas right away, um, really trying to tech up, and that left him a little bit vulnerable. Once Link Speed finishes, the Protoss really has to respect the Zerg. Mm -hmm. It's very, very true. You got to stay inside your base where you belong. Welcome. Thanks for coming down. Yeah, kind of wild games tonight. Some very fast. Protoss ideally wants to block the hatch. Well, man, Hero's Control is sick. What is this? Well, that's a drone. It's certainly not an SCV, so... Look at that. It can be microed. Oh! Get wrecked! What is up? Make it a pylon oh down and dirty! God. Not just a pylon, but a point tasteless. Wow. So this uh, is annoying for the Zerg, to say the least. Zerg will make another hatchery in the center right. Uh, as no matter what, Zerg has to just get hatches up, and those hatches have to be at expansions. Now, I'm assuming he cancels it and brings the probe down here. Yeah. Makes the hatch uh, before that probe can really move anywhere. It wasn't sent down either. Zella is already on the way, but Ling's popping out at the moment. So, um, we have the first Zealot come in in here. And if we remember from the previous game, Hero always sent one Ling in uh, towards the main to see if he couldn't do any damage with just that. Um, so now he's going to try to go up into the main. Now there's three Ling's here. He wants to try to body block the Zealot. Uh, if possible, but I guess with yeah. three links alone, it's not quite enough. He's right, got five out now. Great micro there against the probe. He actually messes up a little bit. I think he yeah. had like one more volley. Uh, but yeah, targeting down that probe is a great way to start this off. Okay, yeah. finally does get it. Now it's time for this sling to do its job. Just so running is... around. He's getting a nexus during all of this, so he's just got to buy some time with these zealots, force as many links as possible, kill whatever he can as well. Keep in mind, uh, zealots, if you can get them at an angle where they can't get surrounded, they're always good. So sometimes you see the people park at the ramp here. Mm -hmm. um, Very good way to do it, like to break a ramp with links. Oh, well, yeah, or they have to drone drill, in which case you like run back for a split second. Yeah, yeah, that's very right. If you run down to the bottom and then take like kind of a little concave, yeah, it's it's so sick. It's really hard to serve. So. He's got the block up here, but he's going to keep trying to apply the pressure here. The hero's not slowing down with the number of links he has. Um, this takes a lot of experience for the Protoss to just be so good at identifying exactly how many links he can possibly hold here. Oh, a little bit of a miss micro yeah, right there. Actually, on both sides there. Yeah. Definitely uh, could have gone much more wrong there for Snow than it ended up going. Now he's headed back, but the forge isn't done. Is this going to look like Tasis' ladder games? Let's find out. <laughs> just got to get that cannon started. Oh, man. Uh, now, the cannon's not started, already. Now, if he gets if three wanna... Lings in, what do we do, Taste? What if he gets four? Oh, my God. It's got Ling PTSD at that point. Now, okay, he's the gonna cannon's block. coming. He's got Zealots, I think, enough to block. Okay, so this is going to be a much better game. Might be our best game of the night coming up here. So, uh, now we want to watch and see... Is Zerg going to keep making uh, drones? Is there going to be a very quick hydralis den thrown down here as Zerg tries to break? Oh my heavens to Betsy. Well, this is definitely one way to do it. A three hatch hydra yeah. bust. If they don't have anything scouting you at this point, this is a very deadly move. Because if you don't make the extra cannons, you will just straight die to this. If you do make the extra cannons, Zerg has a very tough time recovering. Yeah, and a lot of people might be wondering, because we see a lot of good players lose. A lot of good Protoss players lose to this, and I think... Uh, certainly some people are at home going, 
why don't they just make more cannons every time? Cannon costs the same as a gateway. Same amount of minerals as a Stargate. Uh, you really want to tech up. Your whole goal here is to try to tech up as fast as possible because Zerg is growing at an insane rate that you can't really punish. But... Yeah. Um, Go ahead. No, I was going to say, so on lower levels you see people over make cannons and Zerg just doesn't make any hydras, it just expands yeah. further. So it's tough. It's just one of the tougher it parts is. of early game PvZ. It, it's super, super tough. But you see Snow, he's like trying to poke out. He's trying to sneak a Zealot out. And Hero is so on top of denying this as best as he possibly can. Because if you see this coming, you just throw down a bunch of cannons and you have a big advantage. Right. So uh, really good job here by Hero to, to stop him kind of dead in his tracks and walking out. But will Snow be able to pick up on this and figure out that this is a three-hatch Hydra all incoming? That's the big question. Well, it is coming quickly, my friend. A second cannon gets started, but needs more than just two. Yeah. Three or four is the lucky number. Now, when you see this rush, what happens is, is the Lings want to run in the front. They soak the damage. Uh, the Hydras need to shoot down each of the cannons, because if you control Hydras well enough, they will um, beat Zealots. Look at this. Gets those Hydras out of the way. Yeah. Doesn't want the Zealots That's exactly to see what they were coming out to see. They're like, are there Hydras out here? Yes. And he doesn't see him, so that is a big issue. And luckily, he does have five zealots here. His second cannon is going to finish. Okay, he's got to pull these back. He knows exactly what it is now. Okay, here we go. Extra cannons on the way. Probe's coming out. He needs every single thing possible to try to hold on here. Okay, see, he goes for the uh, cannon. One on the right, one on the further right. And if he gets this last one, and he will, that's going to be game. And he faked yeah. him out. Hero did not go for the macro game. Uh, had Protoss had more cannons, this would have been a different game. GG. Yeah. Definitely one of the more frustrating ways to lose in StarCraft 1 right there. The three hatch Hydra bus that you just quite could not scout. It was good map control by Hero. You know, this is a dangerous thing that can hit you, but Snow tonight definitely not having the greatest of games against Hero. Hero just completely destroying in both games. 2016, 2017, we've seen more Hydra bus work than I swear we've seen it almost in another phase in yeah. StarCraft's history. People are very good at them right this, now. This cheese is stoppable, guys. I, I know it might look ridiculous, but it, it, it is a manageable, holdable thing, but it just seems like Protosses are so focused on massing up into a very later part of the game that you, you just... You know, I think Zerg's are like, okay, screw this. If, it's, he, if he's going to let me win, I'll just kill him here. Also, the defense is more precise than executing that attack. Right. And, for instance, if your multitasking is off of it, everyone's just coming back to the game playing it at a sick professional level now. So if you are not completely on top of things like keeping your probe alive long enough to ensure that that isn't going to occur, that wasn't this game in particular because yeah. we opened with different builds, but like that is where it happens a lot of the time. Congratulations. Thank you. It was a tough uh, night, but you still advanced. How do you feel? Well, after we finished everything, I just realized, wow, how nervous I am. I can feel my hands were shaking. Mm -hmm. Are there any moments you want to make up? I think my winner's match didn't go the way I planned for it. I just think I made a lot of mistakes yeah, in the winner's match. Yeah. Your Ling killed so many probes in that one game against Snow. Yeah, I think that was what really let you win that game in the end. It seemed like other than that you weren't doing any scouting. Were you ignoring that, uh, that, that uh, Shuttle was just going to do that proxy? Okay, even if he's going to do a proxy build, <laughs> but I figured I would win anyways. I already been thinking. I, you know, there was just so much going on in my mind at that moment. I wasn't sure how to respond to each part of that rush. That was one of the main reasons why I lost. Seems like your execution wasn't uh, perfect in that last game. I'm oh, sorry, that meant, okay, in, the, in the previous game, uh, that Zell came to your base was doing some damage. 
It seems like yeah, snow's control is better in, in, our, in that game than it was in our previous game. But I felt like if I just defended uh, the zealots and then went for the hydra, and then I've got a, a big shot of winning. Yeah. Is that all you're feeling? Yeah. When I saw his photon cannons, they were so close to his buildings, I thought, okay, I can do this. They just break down his defense. But round of 16, there are much better players ahead. How do you feel? Are there, are there any particular players that you're um, looking forward to fighting or worried about fighting? So I'm really weak at CDC, to be honest. I want to overcome that weakness, though. That's a big goal of mine. Hopefully I'll face off against a strong Zerg. I'd like to test my abilities. I would like to, for this ASL to be a turning point where I'm better in that matchup. And I overcome my weaknesses. But you're great at CVP. <laughs> but I think I will be weaker in offline tournaments against Protoss. Yeah, it's hard to say though. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Any words to your fans? I made it to the round of 16. Hopefully I won't disappoint anybody in the round of 16. Please watch me. Let's get congratulations and that will conclude our interview. Ari McFly. What up? Can I just say that you have a beautiful tanner haircut? Tanner here. Yeah. Biff Tasteless. Uh, all right. We have Shuttle and Hero advancing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shuttle, I mean, you always got to count him as somebody who can make it. Hero is just such a good Zerg. Yeah. Firebat Hero, on the other hand, having a very disappointing That's night. right. Unfortunately, he's going to have to go back to casting just like he would be Artosis. Yeah, we didn't get to see a Firebat Hero uh, celebration, but maybe next time. Snow taken out by the Zerg Scum. It's a tricky early game matchup. Uh, here's the round of 16 Pantheon so far. We still have one more day, which will be tomorrow, by the way, starting at 5 p.m. The Zerg's really fighting back currently. Look yeah. at that. Six Zergs against just four Terran and four Protoss. And very likely a seventh will join them tomorrow. Tasteless. I think you're right. J-Dang. J-Dang. Well, what about J-Dang? What about J-Dang? What about J-Dang? What about J-Dang? It was really the best of all time. It's a flash from J-Dang. Uh, J-Dang, 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 Sharp versus Mini, Jadong versus Haya. All these guys are really good, in good form at the moment. So this is just going to be a really fun match. Don't forget, it starts at 5 p.m. Because we have group selection afterwards. Don't miss out. And after that, we're going to go back to normal StarCraft one time, 7 p.m. as usual. Uh, good job today, Artosis. You as well. Tasteless. I'm sad for Snow. I've lost many games. But they look exactly like that. Oh, yeah, of course. It's I know. a very tough thing as Protoss to deal with. Well, Artosis, um, I don't have that much more to say, really. No. Other than that, this is so fun to be back casting StarCraft Remastered. We hope that these uh, games that we've casted to you will help you map out your builds on the ladder. Now that we finally, freaking finally, have our own nonstop ladder in StarCraft Remastered. Yeah. Very fun to be playing that. I'll definitely be playing some tomorrow. Getting my hand back. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not allowed to do any intense clicking just yet, but soon. Mm. My hand is still stiff. It was in a cast for a while. Yeah, quite a while. Um, yeah, quite some time. Um, well, Artosis, it was a treat as always. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as well. Thank you so much for joining us here at the ASL. Mr. Tasters over here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have any closing words, Artosis? Uh, no, not really. Like... This is cool. I am happy ASL is here, round of 24. Uh, we do get a lot of one-sided games because the tiers between some of these guys is really quite vast. Yeah. But the round of 16, it gets a lot closer. And then the round of 8 is where it gets, like, super sick. So keep watching. We love you. Have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. We'll see you tomorrow, 5 p.m.
begins. 